Oh my god, where is the child? Hi everybody and welcome back to another episode of my Sims and Bloom series and happy winter fest to everybody. <laughs> Clover has lost her hand today um, but she's cooking a lovely winter fest breakfast for everybody. We've got Posy here who has decided to change out of her Christmassy outfit and we've also got little Lila upstairs who is playing in the toilet and she's really really hungry so you better get her some food pretty quickly and of course we have our best friend Riley over, Posy's best friend. He has come to spend Winterfest breakfast with us which I think is really really sweet. So I've decided to give everybody some Winterfest outfits to wear today so I'm going to quickly change everything everybody into their outfit. All right, here we are. So we have Posy and a little Christmas sweater. Riley has been dumped with a little Christmas hat. And then of course we have got Clover cooking in the kitchen. She is pretty decked out in this long turtleneck. <laughs> oh my goodness, these two. <laughs> so cute. So even though it is Winterfest today and we should really be celebrating with our entire family, I think what I'm going to do is just spend the morning with our immediate family and Riley, just, you know, doing a few little traditions, opening presents together. And then if we're kind of in a better mood this evening, I think then we will we'll invite our family over. But as you know, Clover is still absolutely heartbroken from the pets dying in the last episode. She is so, so, so sad about that. So I want to make sure she spends her time getting better and not just partying too hard. Everybody's had some breakfast. Let's come and play a multiplayer game together to get our spirits up. Oh, Anahi's here. I guess she can join as well if she's around in the neighborhood. I was going to say Anahi is um, Lila's mom, but she's not actually, is she? <laughs> I guess she's her stepmom. Oh, I think the cat got some feathers. Where are you heading? React to the cat gift. Oh, yeah. Did you pick that up? Oh, she did. Okay, we'll give that to Clover. I think Clover has two sets of feathers now, which we need to open up. Uh, we still only have 11 out of 12. Oh no! I thought we probably at this rate should have collected them all, but we definitely have not. That's all right. Oh my god, look at this cat, guys. <laughs> Someone is really enjoying Winterfest. We've got two girls that need to pee at the same time. That's all right, Clover's gonna head upstairs. So since Lila has moved in with us for a little bit now, I've decided to update the living space just a little bit to fit her in. So I moved Clover's bed since she doesn't really need that, like both sides of it. And I've been able to fit in a little toddler bed for her and also a changing table. And we've also popped in a potty in the bathroom and some little bits and bobs downstairs. So we have this um, cute little stuffy that came with a camping pack. I think they made a error because this only cost one simoleon, which is kind of crazy considering how big it is. And the second one and the second item we've got is this little makeup set. And I've also just popped a little dollhouse downstairs for her to play with as well. She seems to be in a better mood at the moment, but she does definitely need a bath. So we'll have to come and give her one of those, give Lila a bath. So while they're doing that, I think I'm actually going to set out some presents for everybody because I want to get, I want Clover to spoil both the girls this Christmas since they've obviously had a little bit of a hard upbringing so far so I definitely want to spoil Posy. Um, her mum her birth mum obviously passed away and this is her first Winterfest with Clover so we want to make sure we give her something really special and this is Lila's first Christmas ever so we want to make sure we give her something special as well. Okay so I've placed down a few little presents but we'll wait for a little bit to open them. Posy is just outside. Oh she's morning Rosie that's so sweet. Why don't we get her to come and add a present to the pile and I'll get Clover to come and add one as well and maybe you should come and hang out upstairs with Riley for a little bit up in the treehouse. All right Clover so why don't we come downstairs and add a present to the pile. There she is. Look how big it's getting. That's so cute. And I would love, love, love for her to spend some time giving the girls some gifties. So since it is three o'clock now, I think we may as well host a little bit of a party. I think I just want to add our group. So if we invite over our family, I might just add Anahi uh, and Zoe. Oh no, Anahi's in it. I might just add Zoe to it as well. So at the moment, this is our current family. We've got our cousins, Hallie and Dax, and we've also got Anahi and Zoe, who is um, 
Lila's mum and stepmom and obviously Anahi is our best friend. So I'm going to start a gathering with these guys and hopefully they'll come over to celebrate Winterfest with us fairly shortly. Posey is hanging out downstairs with little Lila. She's doing some knitting. Um, she's lost her hand. I don't know why this keeps happening. My sims just keep losing their hand. But she's also just not feeling very well at all. I think I'll have to give her some medicine. Alright, our family members are starting to arrive. Hallie and Dax are both here. Let's come and say hello to the family. We'll ask Hallie what she does for work these days. She's actually a young adult now. I think the last time we saw her, she must have been a teenager or like just early young adult. So, oh, she's getting older and we'll complain about Winterfest. Uh, Clover does like Winterfest, but I think she's sad that she doesn't really have a lot of family to celebrate with anymore. So, I think she's just going to complain a little bit about the festives. I really miss Hallie. She's so cute. <laughs> Do you guys remember when she was a total surprise? And we'll make sure we come and say hi to Dax as well, who we definitely need to get our friendship up a little bit with. All right, it's getting a little bit late. It's around seven o'clock now. So I think what we're going to do is come and open presents with everybody. So we'll come and open presents with everybody in the family, including little Lila. Hopefully they'll all come over and start getting some presents from the pile now. <gasps> Lila, what did you get? Lila got some nesting blocks, which is cute. Zoe's doing her one too. Clover's got her gift. Clover got a raw antique teapot. Ooh, is that in here? Must be in our household inventory. I think Posey hasn't grabbed one yet. Why don't you come in and um, grab a present with Riley? Where is Riley? Is he upstairs still? No, he's in the kitchen. <gasps> Posey's got her present. What'd you get? Ooh, she got a train set engine car. That sounds very fascinating. Can you give this gift to Riley now? Merry, <laughs> Merry Christmas, Riley. We promise there's a present there. <gasps> we gave him a little tiger hat. Does he like it? <gasps> Aw, that's so sweet. He liked it. And I think Clover's now going to come upstairs with Posey and show off her gift so i'll get these two to head upstairs okay so clover has now decided to bring posy upstairs and give her her christmas present which of course is this lovely candle station that she bought her and somehow snuck up to the top floor <laughs> so posy's gonna come over and i think we have to buy some ingredients for our candle first let's get some soy cube and we'll do a sage green one can you come and make a candle posy Posey is going to come over and attempt to make her first ever candle and we're going to totally glitch out of that. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> and while she's doing that, we'll get Clover to come downstairs and show off the presents to little Lila. So Lila's gotten these little gifties outside. We've decided to get her a the little nesting blocks, a little basketball hoop, and a little toy kitchen that she can play with when she ages up into a child. So we really hope she enjoys those. And then of course that leaves little Clover who has snuck to bed. But since she's had since she's headed to bed now, I think Posey is going to do something really, really special for Clover and actually we're going to adopt a cat for the household. All right, so now we get to pick a kitty cat that we're gonna adopt. I kind of want to get a male one that's not neutered. That's the sort of the whole point, I think. At the moment, they're all not male and not neutered. Oh no. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Okay, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna have to go into cast and manually add a cat just because I really need it. <laughs> A cat to breed with buttercup so i'm gonna just quickly pop into create a sim all right so we have adopted this little black tuxedo cat outside why is there a random child here okay bye this is the cat we adopted he was basically the first one that popped up when we went into create a sim so i've decided to adopt this little kitty i'm gonna get um posy to come downstairs really quick and say hi to him first let's come and pick him up all right so we've picked up little napoleon and we're gonna take him upstairs to clover's room we're gonna head wait where's clover gone oh my gosh she's literally in the bubble bath guys <laughs> clover get out of the bath what are you doing 
I'm gonna get her to come and sit on the couch and I'll get Posey to come in and put the cat down over here. Clover's come to downstairs to meet Napoleon. I hope she really likes him. <gasps> oh, they little love hearts. Why don't we play with Napoleon for a little bit? I know you're not feeling a little bit, like I know you're not feeling the best, but we're also encouraged to mate with Buttercup as well. Oh, she really needs the toilet. Oh, look at these two. They seem to get along really well. And even though Napoleon will never replace the cats we had, I think her heart is a little bit fuller now knowing she has a new little kitty in the household, especially because obviously P and Buttercup are gonna become elder cats really, really soon. So we do always need two cats in the house. So I think, um, you know, continuing the cat legacy is <laughs> the next step. So even though it may be a little bit soon, I am very happy that Clover got her Winterfest wish and her heart is a little bit fuller with a new kitty in it. And they, they seem to really like each other. She's having a really good time playing with this cat. It's really, really late now. We're going to get Posey to read Lila to sleep and then pop herself to bed as well. And then you can come to bed. And Clover actually had a little bit of a nap, so she's not feeling too bad, although she really, really does need the loo. So I'll make sure she does that. And I will be a nice sim god and clean up after everyone's messes. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's eight o'clock in the morning and we're finally putting Lila to bed. This is probably not our best parenting move, but that's all right. She's off to bed. Clover's feeling really, really good and everyone else is absolutely shattered. Prozy does have to head off to school now, even though her energy is really low, but that's okay. She can take it easy today. I think I'm going to get Clover to... Okay, come on. Come on then. Come on, bedtime. Good girl. Prozy, unfortunately, you do need to go to school, even if you're... <laughs> Goodbye, have a good day. Aww, and we got a little um, sentiment with Lila, growing closer from quality time. That's so, so sweet. Well, even though we didn't do everything we wanted to on Winterfest, I feel like we had a pretty good time regardless. Posey, are you skipping school today? Okay, well, if you're gonna do that, can you come and at least fill all the pet bowls and then call in sick or something? <laughs> Please? Let's take a vacation day from school since she's refusing to go in. Oh, he's so cute. Look at this little kitty. Look at this stinky baby. I won't get her up until she's got her needs up, but once she is up, we will definitely, definitely be bathing her. Oh no, Buttercup has just become an elderly cat. <gasps> no. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> It's time to start. It's time to stop doing what we're doing and let this stinky toddler out. Let's go downstairs and give her a bath. <gasps> Santa, why are you still here? Please leave. Go away. Why don't we come downstairs and give Lila a bath? <gasps> oh, Buttercup's expecting kittens. Ooh. Okay, okay. I'm so glad. I didn't think she was pregnant because she became an elder, but it's good to know that she is and our laptop's broken oh you're gonna go bathe the cat i mean the child <laughs> i thought um oh no i thought that clover was gonna do that but i guess not oh my god where is the child what are you what are you bathing <gasps> what is happening there's no one in the bath all right there we go great Perfect. Thanks for making a mess. Okay, since Clover's feeling a little bit sad, I do want to take her out today. So I think what we're going to do is just travel with Posey and go and get some lunch somewhere. <laughs> All right, so I've brought us to this little cafe in Windenburg. We've come here before when it had the cat cafe event on, but today it is just a regular little cafe. I think that there is a barista here. So, oh, she's ordering. Okay. We're waiting for the barista. <laughs> I don't think you need to wear your Winterfest clothes anymore. Maybe it will change your... Okay, so since we both have the day off today, Clover's decided to take Posey out on a little bit of a casual lunch to tell her about the work situation where she is working with Katori now. So these two are going to have a little bit of a chat. I think that Clover is going to tell Posey the story about 
about her mum and her dad and how and how Daffodil had her when she was a teenager and that her father decided to leave and not stay with her mum and look after her and Prozy is gonna say to Clover I already know this story like and my dad's not around anymore so what why are you telling me this and Clover is actually going to confess to Prozy that she is now working with her aunt <laughs> Katori and she's going to say I just wanted to let you know of the situation because obviously your aunt is quite close by now she's working with me and I haven't told your aunt about you living with me and that your mother passed away so I just wanted to see what how like if you were comfortable or not and Prozy is explaining to Clover that she would have to think about it. She's not sure if she's up for meeting Katori, um, but she's glad that Clover told her. Prozy, growing up, didn't have much of a family, and she obviously really wants to love and appreciate every family member that she has, so she really does want to meet Katori, but I think she's a little bit worried that when her dad finds out that she is now around like what his reaction is going to be and she obviously felt neglected as a baby already so i don't think she can handle having that neglect again so no one likes me no one will ever like me why bother with everything yeah that's that's pretty on par with what we're saying so clover's gonna say look it doesn't matter what he thinks about you and if he doesn't want you in his life she's gonna say i'll always love you and I'm sure that your aunt Katori would want you in her life. So <laughs> Clover's ordering some more food, but I think what's going to happen is we're actually going to set up a meeting with Katori to meet Posey if Posey decides that's what she wants to happen. But for now, these two are just going to have something a little bit more to eat and pretty much just wrap up their evening in the cafe. So Prozy has had a lot to dwell on. She's feeling a little bit better. She's had some food. I'm going to get her to travel just by herself with Riley and head out somewhere to have a little bit of a chat with him. She's going to say to Clover, I'll meet you at home. I just want to get my head straight and go see what Riley thinks about this whole situation. He always seems to know, you know, what's best for me and give me some really good advice. And so Clover's going to head off and Prozy's going to head out with Riley. Here we are. We've arrived at this little park across from where Riley lives. He actually lives in the house over where is it there was another little house around here over here yeah okay so Riley lives in a house around here I'm honestly don't know which one it is maybe <laughs> I don't know okay either way we've arrived at the park together I think I'm gonna get these guys to go on a little bit of a walk over here let's hike around with Riley for a little bit have a little bit of a walk in nature and just tell them about what we found out today all right, so these two have are coming for a little bit of a walk around. So Prozy is now telling Riley about everything that happened with Clover, about what went on today, how she has the opportunity to meet her aunt on her father's side and even the opportunity to possibly meet her father. She's going to tell him about her insecurities and how she feels like there's no point meeting her father because he already rejected her once and he's had so many like different opportunities to come and meet her as she's become a teenager and he just really knows nothing about her life and she doesn't know what she should do. She doesn't feel like she should give him, you know, the benefit of the doubt or even that side of the family any time of the day considering they have not reached out to her before now. However, she's also aware that since Katori is working with Clover, it's almost impossible that they're not going to run into each other. So she just really needs to rip off the band-aid like it's fine as possible. Um, Riley obviously has some good advice for Prozy. He's going to tell her to follow her heart, follow her head, do what she wants to do. He's going to tell her, you know, he already rejected you once as a baby. So don't even give him the time of the day to let him do it again. Like you can go meet him if you want to meet him, but don't let him hurt you. Go into there like with the worst case scenario and hopefully you'll work out, you'll walk out with the best case scenario. But he's also going to say to her, Look, Prozy, like if you need some time to clear your head away from Mount Komorebi for a bit, I've actually been invited on a little bit of a camping trip with some people from school. Why don't you come along with me? And <laughs> Prozy is quite shy. She doesn't really have that many friends at school. To be honest, her only friend is Riley. However, Riley is... I wouldn't say like he's in the popular crowd, but I would say he is quite sort of after because i mean he is so handsome so he is definitely sought after he 
is really friendly with everyone. He's quite goofy as well. So even though his closest friend is Posey and he really does like appreciate her more than anyone in the world, he does have other friends in school. So he's going to go off on a camping trip with some friends this weekend and he has invited Posey along with him so she can clear her head, get out of Mount Cobblerebby and sort of just avoid this drama until she can decide what she wants to do. So she's going to say yes and they're going to head off, I think tomorrow evening or maybe Saturday morning on a little bit of a camping trip with some people which I'm pretty excited about and yeah I mean maybe it's the perfect opportunity for sparks to fly between these two we will you know we'll never know <laughs> but anyway it's getting pretty late so I am gonna wrap up this little bit of stargazing moment and we're gonna say goodbye to Riley he's been a massive massive help to us today we will definitely be appreciating him you're really great, Riley, and we'll head off home. We are back home now. Posey's hygiene is absolutely terrible. <laughs> so I'm gonna get her to come and brush her teeth and change her menstrual product. And we'll basically just head to bed after we've had some food. All right, guys, so it is pretty late. Everyone is heading to bed now. And I think I am gonna leave things here. I really hope you guys all enjoyed today's episode. Obviously, we had Winterfest. We haven't seen our family in a really long time, so it was nice to have everybody over. Everybody got some really nice gifts. Obviously, Clover has had a new cat added to the family, which is Napoleon. I did really want to adopt a cat on the phone. However, it's really hard when most of them are neutered and we're trying to like continue our cat legacy line so we do obviously need a cat that's not needed to be able to do that but i am really happy with napoleon he is really cute i gave him a randomized name and also he was just the first cat that like appeared in Cass. so i felt like it was similar to an adoption where you like don't exactly get a choice anyway um but aside from that we spent our first night basically with Lila in the house. She is a pretty good toddler so far so I'm really happy to have her in here. She does age up in four days so I think we'll spend one more day with her and then send her back to Anahi and Zoe's house. Who is this? Okay and then obviously Posey had a lot of things happen today. Clover was lovely enough to gift her the candle making station for Winterfest, which was really, really nice. She needs that for her aspiration. She has already achieved level one in fabrication because the candle making skill counts as fabrication. So we can get started on her aspiration now. And she obviously found out that about her aunt existing that she didn't know anything about. And she knows that her birth father is probably hanging around somewhere. We don't actually know if he lives in this world. We don't know whether he has other children. We have no idea. So. Katori might have the answers, so she's going to ponder whether she wants to meet Katori or not. And also, she is going to go camping with Riley and some of his friends from school in the next episode, which I'm pretty keen for. I'm going to... I'm going to add some Sims to the game um, because Pots doesn't know any teenagers. So I'm going to add some Sims that are teenagers to the game to go camping with us and give them some makeovers or use some pre-existing Sims to give makeovers. But for now, I am going to leave this one here. I hope you guys all enjoyed today's episode and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.